Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Zubair is here. Today I will show you a very technical and important video regarding Microsoft Teams. So what we will do, we will create a group and we will allow that group of users to create a Teams group or Office 365 group. And outside of that group, no one else will be able to create any Office 365 group or this will make us easier to manage the users or allow a group of users permission to create a Teams group or Office 365 groups. So for this purpose, we will use PowerShell commands. We will try to master it via PowerShell and there is no other way to do it except PowerShell. So for this, let's move Office 365 tenant and create a security group to allow those users to create Microsoft Teams groups or Office 365 groups. So let's proceed and go to Office 365. Please note that you must be a global administrator to perform these actions. You must have admin rights. So if you have admin rights, you will be able to see admin here, right? So let's go to admin and i have a powershell script here right what i will do i will create a group named allow to create groups and the user of this groups will be able to create microsoft teams groups or office 365 groups so let's go and first add the security group in office 365 active teams and groups let's go to security group and let's add a group. The name I want for this group is allowed to create a group uh, because I will add this to my PowerShell script. So, method max, next, create a group. Okay, I will allow this group, only this group, to create Microsoft Teams group or Office 365 group i will add all these commands into video description so that you all can get these commands to work on okay so let me close powershell and reopen it from scratch just for your understanding okay run as an administrator okay if you are new or you don't have installed PowerShell, uh, Azure AD Preview, right? You have to install this. I think I might have already installed this. Let's see. This is the installation command. Okay. What I want, uh, I want to do yes to all, right? Okay. It's saying that module is already installed and this was like I just want to show you how you can do that so let's go here and copy the script or the script I have I will copy it from here to the end and in this script we also have connect Azure AD command so this will ask us to connect to office 365 tenant from admin account see this will pop up let me log in from the admin account okay i've logged in with the admin account and it's now running all of the script into PowerShell. So it ran all of the uh, script into PowerShell, and now we can see the value false here. Enable group creation false here, and we have allowed the group create Microsoft Teams. The group we have allowed is here. Let's go to that group, security group. Okay allowed to create a group so let's add 
a user into this group and see if that user can create a Microsoft Teams or no. So we can go to member and add a member just to check if that member can create Microsoft Teams group. Please note that all other users are not able to create a Microsoft Teams group. Only the member of these groups will be able to create a Microsoft Teams group. I will log out of Teams and I will log in with their specific user who is the member of allowed to create groups and will verify that if that user can create Microsoft Teams or no. Let's log in with the user who is the member of allowed to create group. No sign in to this app only as I am doing this just to explain you. Okay, the user is now successfully logged in to Microsoft Teams and here we will verify if this user would create a Microsoft Teams or no. So in the Teams section, let's go to create a new Teams, let's name it testing allowed the users to create a teams and I named it testing just to confirm okay that's great it looks like we have created a teams right now it's asking to type a name or email of the member whom I want to edit here okay could we have created Microsoft Teams with the user that is added to allow to create group? So now for verification, we will do it with any other user who is not the member of allow to create a group. Okay, let's log out from here and we will log in with some other user who is not the member of so let's verify if our PowerShell script works fine or no so remember verify 10 times always verify 10 times <laughs> right in IT so okay create or use another account I am now logging in with the user who is not the member of allowed to create a teams group or office 365 group so hopefully this will not allow us to create microsoft teams i'm logged in with the user who is not the member of allow to create group i'm going to teams okay let's create a teams it's 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 uh, see uh, i'm going on the plus icon and it's showing you don't have permission to create a teams so anyhow let's try okay so when i try to create a teams here it's giving something like this you need to own a group with fewer than 10,000 people to create a team for that group please create a group first so meaning that only users those are in those are the members of those are the members of allowed to create groups they can create groups or the teams so only this member is able to create a group or teams for now no one else is ever will be able to create a teams or group okay so now let's suppose if we want to revert these settings and let's do it what we will do we will go to this script right you can anyhow you can check the status what's the status by this command right this status this status right you can check this status by uh this command right this is simple here we have to paste and see now this status is false so if you want to do it to true to the normal condition as we are uh, we were earlier so what we will do we will change this script from false to true here 
and we will paste it in our shell right now we want to revert the setting right but it is important to explain that how we can revert this setting because sometime we need to revert right so it's again asking me to connect with azure let's do it okay okay now see enable group creation is not change true right so let's verify if the user if all other users can create microsoft teams group or no let's verify i will log out and log into teams uh, with the user who is not able to create uh, a teams group right i will log out and log in again uh, for this user here I just want to sign into this app as I'm testing this for you. And we will see if the settings get reverted to normal and this user could also create a teams or no. Okay. See. Oh. Now I am getting the option create a new team. So now this user can also create a team, right? Testing team. So now all the setting is reverted back to the normal. I am happy to learn this uh, with PowerShell scripting, right? This is perfect and what we have done is first we have seen that how we can allow a single group of users who can create microsoft 365 group or a teams group and this was the security group right where we can add those members and we can allow them via this powershell script and here we had false at that time so the users of allowed to create a group were able to create a microsoft teams and none of other user was able to create a microsoft teams group or office 365 group so later on what we did we have diverted the second settings by adding true here right i have i have i have, I have also explained and told you the way to revert the setting so that's it about today's lecture. Thanks for watching. Keep watching, keep sharing, and keep liking the videos. Bye.